You can do it. Further adventures in Japan. Hello, all you wonderful people. Behind me is the atomic bomb memorial site. I'm in Hiroshima, Japan. That right there is where a bomb dropped on on August 6th, 1945 at 8.16 a.m. It's been memorialized by the city of Hiroshima, Japan to let people remember what happens in war, why we should never use nuclear weapons. I want to take you around the Peace Memorial Park and the Peace Memorial Museum to show you the sights. This is going to be a very somber, very quiet video. I just guys want you to reflect and see what it's like to see the Peace Memorial sites so we don't ever repeat what's behind me right now. that peace belt is pretty intense because when you actually look at what you're hitting you're hitting a nuclear atom and it's like atoning for the sins of the past one of the most popular monuments here at the peace memorial park is that of the children's monument on top there is a little girl named Sadako. She was a survivor of the uh, actual nuclear blast. One day she was at school, she was running, she got sick, she couldn't run anymore. The doctor said she was going to die, so she said, I will make 1,000 paper cranes, because there's a famous story that says if you make 1,000 paper cranes, you can make whatever wish you want come true. So she made 1,000 paper cranes and she died in the hospital. Now people send cranes to this place in honor of Sadako, in honor of peace. What's behind me is a bronze statue that includes metal and human remains. That's an intense reminder. Extremely sad this tower is in dedication to all the kids that had to go and work during the war and got killed during the war in the fight of World War II. Students over 12 years of age were mobilized for labor services throughout the country. <laughs> Wow, the Peace Museum looks pretty big. I'm not going to say this is going to be a happy time going through there, but it's sure going to be interesting. Wow, it's only $2 to see this museum. Based off the sign, this clock is constantly running towards danger. If uh, nuclear war is going to happen, the clock will self-destruct by going all the way down, spinning so fast it will blow itself up with that last wheel. They have like a recreation of what it was like to be in the atomic bomb aftermath. Oh man, I read about this in school. This is the watch that stopped working when the bomb dropped. 
Here's where the A-bomb actually exploded. I, I always thought it landed on the ground. I didn't know it blew up above the city. This is insane. At first this just looks like a wall, but if you look closely, you'll see a shadow. That's the shadow of a person that was etched into the wall from the explosion. Here's some of the destruction for the bomb. It like tore pieces of steel, like sheets of paper. It's insane. Lots of stuff. Good morning if I do. These are the origami swans made by Seteko herself. This, for me, might be the most sad and personal part of the museum. That museum is pretty rough. You feel pretty terrible about yourself after going through that. It was visually graphic and extremely heartbreaking, especially the stuff on Sadako. And you actually get to see your origami uh, cranes that make you feel like total, total crap. Hey, I'm not gonna try to be pre preachy. I'm not gonna try to like say, hey, war is not the answer. I'm not gonna say that there, there wasn't reasons for why things happened, but yeah, think about these things, guys. Gonna work together to make it a more peaceful planet, and I'm always a proponent for peace. You guys know that, so I always try to do the right thing for other people. You know, right, just be nice to the people that are mean to you, and if they're still mean to you, try to find out a new way to, to work with it. You know, don't don't sink to the level. Always be a good person. This tree survived a nuclear blast, and it's still here. Man, this truly was a harsh place to go to. It was very, very interesting. I learned a lot. The museum was incredible. The children's memorial was tugs at your heart. Seeing the actual destruction from the A-bomb dome is amazing. If you ever make it out to Japan and you're like, uh, should I leave Tokyo? Should I try to go someplace else? I highly recommend coming out to Hiroshima to see this. It's a great area of reflection. It gives you a sense of the world and it gives you a reason why we should all work together and hope for peace because so many people died right where I am standing. And you know what? We all have to work together. We're all on this crazy planet together so let's just work together.
As I always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. Stay groovy, have a wonderful day. If you like this video, leave a like. If you are interested in, in the peace movement, leave a comment down below. If you, if you like peace, if you want to tell me where I should go in Japan, leave a comment down below as well. Please share this video if you enjoyed it. And consider subscribing to my channel if you like videos about adventuring in Japan. You guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye.